Hi, I'm Cynthia from Arbitz Cafe and Sherry is with me today. Hi Sherry. Hi Cynthia. We are so colorful today. Aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Because we have a lot of colors in front of us too. And today we want to talk about thread wraps. It's something that's been for, I mean... Centuries, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not a, it's not a new technique, but with new material, with new colors, it's been popular. Very right? popular, yeah. Yes, and there are some really cool techniques, so I'm really excited for you to show us what you did. Okay. Um, well, I started with this... Um, double it's I don't know if a herringbone wrap is what it's called um, it's wrapped around two different cords right. I've got leather cord under here and then the cord is just kind of in a figure eight wrapped back and forth okay and um, I'd seen this button and fell in love with it yeah. and that sort of started my palette my color palette and okay and um, it's such a beautiful it's, technique I love it isn't it fun it yeah, is really beautiful. really different and, and uh, quite secure Oh, really? Um, a little time consuming, but it's easy. Right. It's real easy to do. And we'll have a little tutorial on how to great. do that. Great, great. Um, and then um, my palette sort of grew. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have <laughs> <laughs> I have some favorites. We <laughs> love all do. The, <laughs> I love the corals and browns and, and uh, turquoises. And so I did this fun little uh, silver tube. Why? And then did the little uh, color block wraps around the tube and then put it on just a real simple little ball chain. That is Done. really great. Really yes. easy and fast. And then I thought, well, let's let's keep going. Uh -huh. <laughs> the colors were fun. So then uh, this is actually built on this uh, same uh, five millimeter okay. leather. Okay. And then all the different colors are bundled together. And then you just start wrapping and you just switch colors when you feel like it. Okay, so do you do a color then cut and glue or you just no, keep going? All no, the, all the threads are attached at the beginning. They're okay. all grouped together. And so you keep them along the uh, leather so and then you pick one. Right. And you wrap around both the leather and those that bundle of threads. Okay. And then when you've done enough with one color, then you set it aside and pull out a new one. And then oh, that's how you switch. So okay. you just keep going. And then the ends, uh, the thread is just tucked in. Mm -hmm. I used a needle, a, a big eye needle, and then just pulled just the threads through. So really easy. Oh, yeah. And the colors and are fun. really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> they're fun. Uh, so then I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun to do some beads? Yes. So I wrapped the um, embroidery floss with the beads onto mm -hmm. the leather. Did it in a couple different fashions. This is, is um, three beads along. Okay. And um, so you just put the just beads and you just go. Well, you have to mm -hmm. thread the beads before, right? You do. It's okay. easier that way. I okay. mean, you can always decide, oh, I need more beads right. and add some later, but it's easy to thread them on. Uh, this type, I've got the thread running through the beads. Okay. And then the wrap is going over that thread in between the beads. Oh, a I little see. more secure. I see. Um, but uh, super easy. And, um, you know, sometimes you'll have like a little knot or something okay. or a little thread that doesn't want to go where it should. And I found that just a teeny tiny little bit of super glue, uh, the super new glue, will hold it well. Oh, really? Uh, certain colors it might discolor. Um, if it's a dark thread, it seems to work fine. Right. You don't want to drip it onto okay. your thread. It'll just kind of wick and go okay. everywhere. But if you're real careful, just put a little, little drop, maybe even on a toothpick or something. Works great. Okay. and kind of disappears so this is beautiful i love yeah. those yeah, you thanks. don't have to do the whole bracelet just a, no, a just section a little, that's a little great yes yes so me i did also some wrap and here i use some uh, rhinestone uh, cup chain and just wrap uh, around the leather with the uh, chinese corn love that so, so showy yes <laughs> And they're pretty easy to make too. I mean, it's okay. just the, the chain. I don't even have to glue the chain because you wrap oh, the nice. cord in okay. between and it's secure very well. So nice. it's very easy to do. Uh, I made those projects for uh, a mom and me. And on this one, I did the same that you did with the leather. Okay. So it's all the cords together and you start with one. And then when you're done, you take another one. So it's really easy to okay. do too. And, and I will have a, a mini tutorial also to show those. Um, they're very colorful. Um, I wanted to do something with my daughter, something easy yeah. and, and fun for her too. So those were great. Here I did another wrap, also very simple, but I add some bead in between. Well, actually I 
put the bead first and then I wrap in oh, between okay. and I use this I which is beautiful the, isn't it yeah I it's love the little flack of silver it's beautiful yes it's a tassel thread and I thought it's shiny add a little something mm -hmm. like you said and I thought let's let's try and it works really I well I love it and another yes. one that I like is this one also so I use a ball chain okay and then to wrap it I use this um, crochet cord and mm -hmm. you see how it's really fun, it has multiple colors. Oh, beautiful. So in between every single link, I did three wraps. That's why they have all different colors, and I thought that was really, really fun. Really fun effect, huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it works really great. Nice. And then I wanted to make a very long necklace, so I made this necklace. It's great. We had our, those uh, super long that come in a, in a set. They all in a pack like that, they all the, all the colors mm -hmm. are together. So that was great because I didn't have to choose the colors. So this is a very long necklace. Uh, you can do it also uh, wrap uh, as a bracelet. Beautiful. That's why I like it. Uh, I loved it. It was really fun to make. Be very patient. <laughs> it, it took, took a while. <laughs> <laughs> it took a very yeah. long time. <laughs> I was very really surprised, but so worth it at the end. Uh, and I will show also in a mini tutorial how to do this. And in between here, I put those um, little spacers. I thought they were great. And uh, I glue some of them. Okay. Uh, like that they stay. Some of them, they right. kind of stay because there is a knot and mm -hmm. But if you cannot put an, I mean, if it's still going, sliding, just put a dot of super okay. glue and that holds. And it'll kind of secure the threads too. Yes, from yes. Okay. This is a really great project. You can do that in front of the TV. If you like me, you cannot stay still in front <laughs> of the TV. So you yes. just wrap nice. and wrap. Right. <laughs> but it, it's really fun. It's beautiful. So, thank I think the you. color combination is so pretty. Yes, and it's already made for oh, us. Did yes. <laughs> that was good. Well, thank you very much, Sherry, you. for being here. I just yeah. love those. I think you. turquoise goes okay. with everything. Uh, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful. Thank you. And, and thank you so much for joining us today at Arby's Cafe. And make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter to get our promotion and new ideas. So, merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye-bye. <laughs>